Now, the original version of this song has nothing but piano, vocals and bass guitar, but actually it works really nice on an acoustic. Uh, the intro is essentially the same as the verse, and then there's a bit before the chorus that I'm calling the pre-chorus. I don't know if it's really a, a separate bit. It doesn't really matter. Chorus only has two chords, and then the whole thing just plays through three times. Uh, I've got four beats on the bar, and I'm playing F for two and C for two bars. That's the whole of the intro and the verse carries on in exactly the same way. So let's keep going. Here's F. I don't believe in an interventionist. C. God. F. But I know, darling, that you do and again F but if I did I would kneel down and ask him and again not to intervene when it came to you so that's the verse we're alternating between two bars of F and two bars of C now, before we go on and look at the next section, there's a couple of little details to add. If you listen to the piano and the bass guitar, there are some little combinations of chords that are added. I haven't been too precise about this. I'm just trying to get the gist of it. But the song kicks off with a single beat of a G chord and then an A minor. So it's like this. And then from then on, when we change from C back to F, we have a single beat. This is the last two beats of the C. We have G over B, which is a G chord with a sixth string missing, and a single beat of C. So if we go from the top, we'll have a beat of G, A minor, into F for two bars. And back to C. Three, four, one, two. G over B, C, F. Back to C and again G C F I don't believe in an interventionist God Here we go G over B C F I know darling that you do and again G over B C F but if I did, I would kneel down and ask him. And this time we don't have any linking chords, we just go straight to two bars of F. Not to intervene when it came to you. And we're getting into what I'm calling the pre-chorus. Well, not to touch a hair on your head. That's another single bar of F. Leave you as you are. That's D minor for a bar. If he felt he had to direct you. And we get to G and they're actually three bars of G now. So we have, well not to touch a hair on your head, leave you as you are, if he felt he had to direct you, direct you into my arms, and the whole thing stops for a bar but you can leave that G chord to ring. Into my, now we're into the chorus, it's two bars of D minor, arms, oh Lord, and two bars of C, into my arms, oh Lord, into my arms, same again, oh Lord, into my arms. So the whole of the chorus is two bars of D minor, two bars of C, and again, two, ma two bars of D minor and two bars of C. Now there are some extra details we could add to make it a bit more at home on an acoustic guitar if you like. You can hear an extra note uh, towards the beginning of the G chord as we move into the chorus. So we have, not to touch a hair on your head, leave you as you are, if you felt he had to direct you. That note there, just on the second half of the first beat of G, there's a note, and I'm putting that on the second fret of the fourth string. So if you play G this way without using the first finger, then you can add that just for two beats and then take it off again. If 
He felt he had to direct you, direct you into my arms. That's just a little thing, but it makes it a bit more authentic. And as we go into the chorus, you could play the melody at the top. Into my arms, oh Lord, into my arms, oh Lord, into my arms, oh Lord, into my arms. So what I'm doing there is playing notes on the top string, third fret, first fret, open top string and back to the first fret into my arms d minor oh lord and the next time the melody is like this first fret of the top string into open top string third fret on the second string back to the open top string over the d minor and into c so the whole from the pre-chorus will be going Not to touch your hair on your head Leave you as you are If you felt he had to direct you Direct you into my arms Into my arms Oh Lord Into my arms And so on Okay, to finish off then let's have the intro one time through with its opening beat of G and A minor. Then we'll have one verse, the pre-chorus thing, uh, maybe with a little variation on that G chord, that little note added there on the second fret of the fourth string, and then our to get into the chorus and end. That's it.